Hello, all my fit friends, and welcome back to Wow Body Now. This is our final September workout, which has been the month for pear shaped women. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to get right into it. Let's go. Okay, fit friends, go ahead and start by giving me nice, big shoulder circles, arms going to the back. So this is our upper body workout. And we are gonna start by really getting those shoulders nice and warm. Awesome. And let's switch directions, bring it back this way. As you're standing there, let's check in with your posture. Head is reaching up to the ceiling. There's a nice long neck, distance between your ears and your shoulders. I want you to hug yourself from the inside out. Squeeze your abdominals, pull your belly button in like you're trying to get it to touch your spine, and then imagine pulling it up an inch. There you go, hugging yourself from the inside out. Okay, and give me side steps with huggers. There you go, as you open up the arms, feel a great stretch through your chest and the front of your shoulders. As you hug, feel your upper back and rear delts. Get a nice little stretch. There you go. Awesome. So we are going to have a fantastic workout today. If you have a pull-up bar, get ready to use it. If you don't have a pull-up bar, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna give you a dumbbell option for that. But that's where we're starting when we're done with the warm-up. So get your mind right. Get ready to work hard right from the start. Okay, go ahead. Let's stretch through the lower back and the hamstrings. Reach and then squeeze your rear delts as you pull your arms straight up and behind your ears there. Reach low, squeeze your rear delts, pull it back. Nice, just like that. Keep your abs in even as you hinge from the hips and reach for the floor. Nice, legs are long. Maybe you have a slight bend as you hinge forward but keep them as long as you can. Nice. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, grab your mat. We're gonna be in a quadruped position. Quadruped just means all fours. Like your baby, getting ready to crawl on the floor. Hips, shoulder, or knees, shoulder width apart. Knees, hip width apart. <laughs> Arms, shoulder width apart. Find a nice neutral spine. And we're gonna do some scapular retraction. So sink down, pull your shoulder blades together, sink your head down, now pull them apart. Sink down, pull apart. Are you hugging yourself from the inside out still? Are you drawing your belly button in? Touch the back of your belly button to your spinal cord. Sink down. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Sink them together, pull them apart. Great. Four, three, two, and one. Take that back arm out, thumb up, arm extended, front leg out, foot flexed. Pick it up and we're gonna open and close. Take them wide together, three, four, five, six, we're going to eight, seven, eight. Bring them center and then reach behind for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work, let's go to the other side. Extend them, pick them up, open and close, one, two, three, four, keep that belly button in, five, really long arm and leg, six, seven, eight, bring a center, now reach together behind you, one, two, three, four, five, you got it guys, six, keep it up, seven, and eight, Nice work. And just give me a couple cat and cows. Ooh, angry cat. And open up for that cow. Just give me two more just like that. Cat and cow. Cat and cow. 
bring it to neutral, step your feet back into a plank, push back into your down dog, hike those hips back, bring it back into plank. Two, three, four, one more. Five, nice work, walk it up. And you're gonna meet me over by the pull-up bar. If you don't have a pull-up bar, keep your mat and grab your dumbbells. Okay, let's go. All right, you all know I like to get the most challenging exercise out of the way first. So we are gonna be doing eccentric pull-ups. This is a great lead-up exercise to help you get strong to do full strict pull-ups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump off the chair or the platform or whatever you have, give me that full pull-up, and we're gonna go down in three slow counts. We're gonna jump up down in three slow counts, okay? So, are you ready? Let's get going here. All right. So, jump up, down in three, two, one. Jump up, three, two, one. Jump up, three, two, one. Great, this is five, down three, two, one. Six, down three, two, one. Seven, we're going to eight. Eight, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, so we're gonna take a minute to rest, a full minute to rest. I'm gonna grab my water. Great job. You made it through the first set. Whether you're doing pull-ups because you have a pull-up bar or the alternate exercise, it doesn't matter. Just do your rest. You're doing great. Okay. I wanna know in the comments below, once this is all over, what was your favorite workout for the month, for this month, right? The month for pear-shaped women. Did you really like the Mondays, thighs, hips, and booty? Did you like the body weight burnouts? Did you like these Wednesday upper body um, workouts? Did you really enjoy the circuit sweat fest on Thursdays or the abs of steel on Friday? So comment below and let me know which ones you liked the best this month. And with that, we're gonna do our second set of these eccentric pull-ups. We're gonna do eight of them. Just do your best. All right, here we go. Jump up, down three, two, one, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, come on, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, come on, seven, one, two, three, one more, eight, one, two, three. Nice work. All right, breathe, shake it out. We have one more set of those. Yes, starting off with the bang. Ooh so tomorrow is the first day of October. <sighs> It's gonna be exciting, we're heading into the holidays. And this year, because of the pandemic, the holidays might be looking different. And we can't control that, right? But you know what you can control? How you take care of yourself. You can control your choice to work out on a regular basis. You can control to follow the 80-20 rule with your diet. Right? You can control to eat a majority of whole, nutrient-dense, healthy foods. These things are gonna help you feel good. 
They're gonna strengthen your health and immune system. And it's just gonna help you feel great and be your best no matter what stressful circumstances are going on, right? I'm gonna tie my shoe <laughs> and then we're gonna do our last set of these. So I want you to focus on having the best end of the year, the best end of 2020 that you can have and showing up for yourself to exercise on a regular basis and to make healthy food choices at least 80% of the time, that's gonna help you look and feel your best and finish off 2020 in an awesome way. So with that being said, let's finish this exercise in an awesome way. All right, jump up, down three, two, one, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, whoo, okay, come on, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, last one, eight, one, two, I'm shaking, three, fantastic work, all right, meet me over, and we're gonna continue with the workout. All right, doesn't it feel good to get those done? So those eccentric pull-ups were the compound move for our pull muscles. We're gonna do a compound move for our push muscles next. So go ahead and grab your mat here. And we're gonna do a push-up with a weight drag. So I'm gonna have my heavy weight. I'm gonna have it on one side of my mat there. We're just gonna do a push-up. Then we're gonna reach across and pull it to the other side, right? Put it down, push-up, pull it to the other side. We're gonna do 10 of them. All right, so with that push-up, you can have your hands elevated, you can be on the wall, you can have your, you can go to your knees. Whatever you do, I want a stiff body moving in one segment as you do that push-up. Look out in front of you slightly. Here we go, push-up reach pull it over there you go push up it's two three four you have to work hard to hold your body as you drag that weight five six seven Eight, nine, 10. Now hang out right there. Give me 10 shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to twist. Eight, nine, 10. Bring it up. And we are gonna rest. We're gonna give ourselves 30 seconds to rest which isn't a ton, so enjoy it. Sip your water. So that push-up variation, it actually is a push with a pull, right? Because when you're dragging, you're pulling the weight across. So if you're really feeling taxed in that, that makes sense, because we just did the pull muscle, and then we're combining a push-pull here. But you're doing great, hang in there, all right? And timer's up. Let's get down and let's get ready to do this again. Same exact thing. Working hard. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder taps. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. 30 seconds to rest. Hey, listen, beginners. 30 seconds of rest, it's not a lot of time. If you need a little extra time to recover to be ready to go, pause the video, give yourself another 30 seconds, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Time it though. Don't hang out for 10 minutes, <laughs> right? We don't want you getting demotivated and just walking away and giving up, right? Time yourself and then join us. So, with that timer's getting ready to go off. This is our last set of these. You got it? I know you do. Let's go. Push up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder taps. Ten, nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Shake it out. We're going to get a full minute to rest, guys. Full minute here. Sip your water. And we are gonna do some arm accessory moves. Okay, we got a compound move for pull, compound move for push. And we're gonna take it a little bit lighter with the weights and work some accessory moves. Accessory moves are generally single joint moves that really isolate a specific muscle group. So, for example, biceps, it's a single joint move. Just Movement is happening from the one elbow joint. And it's really isolating the biceps, right? Okay, so we're gonna do some bicep curls. And we're gonna do triplets. We're gonna do biceps, triceps, shoulders. Now for the biceps, I can actually go a little bit heavier than I could with the other ones. So have your different weight options ready to go. If you only have one set of dumbbells, that's fine too. Just do what you can. That's our minute of rest is over. All right, so we are gonna do hammer curls for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep those elbows in, 6, Five, come on, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, and we are gonna do tricep kickbacks. It's a quick transition, right? I'm just switching my weights, and then I'm getting right into it. So, knees soft, but legs long, abs in, chest up as you hinge forward, Pull those elbows back and in. Pinch them together behind you against your sides. Let's go. One, two, kick them back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Eleven and twelve. Beautiful. We are gonna do single arm lat raise, not lat raises, lateral raises. So keep them on the outside of your thighs. One side, then the other side. Two, two, three, three. Come on, four, four, you got it, five, Five abs in, chest open. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. We're going to ten. Nine, nine, whoo, ten, and 
10. Nice work, put them down. Oh. Okay, just 30 seconds to rest. Like I said, that's not a ton of time to rest. So if you need a little extra, don't feel bad about taking that. I'm getting set up for the hammer curls. Ooh. We have about 10 more seconds. Let's get these down and ready. I'm gonna turn that off, sip some water, and then we're going. Okay. 12, 12, and then 10. Whew. Let's go. Keep the elbows in, palms facing in. It's a neutral grip for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, whew, 4, come on, 3, 2, come on, come on, come on, and 1, quick transition, I'm going to go a little bit lighter here. Tricep kickbacks, abs in, Whew, light, nice long neck, hinge forward, pinch the elbows back and in, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, you got it, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, nice work, stand up. A little shaky shake. Check your posture, stand up tall, knees soft. Hold the weights away from your thighs, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, come on. Six, seven, we got it, come on, eight, oh. nine, don't let them touch your thighs, hold them out away from your thighs, last one, last one on each side, ten, and ten, put it down, we have a full minute, full minute guys, to rest and recover. Walk around, sip your water. We have one more triplet. Working biceps, triceps, then shoulders, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so we are gonna do wide curls. You're gonna have your elbows in and your arms are gonna be out here as you curl, okay? Wide curls. Then we're gonna do overhead triceps extension. And then we're gonna work the rear delts, okay? We're gonna bend forward and we're gonna do rear delt flies. I'm gonna go super light for those. The rear delts are very small muscle group and I wanna be able to really isolate and not feel like I have to cheat in a way but I can really just isolate it in that shoulder joint. So, enough talk. Let's go. Okay, wide curls. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Come on, three, two, and one. Overhead tricep extension. I want you to have soft knees as you do this. Take them overhead, let's go for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, stand up tall, seven, six, Five, 
four, three, whew, two, come on, and one. I'm going light, light, light. Okay. Shoulders back, abs in, hinge forward. All right, here we go for one. Nice long arms. Two, three, four. Think about spreading them as far apart as you can. Six, seven, eight. How far apart can you get them? Nine, just lift them up to shoulder level. 10, 11, 12. Nice work. Here's our 30 seconds to rest. Whew, sip your water. Working hard, getting beautiful, defined sculpted arms. Okay. Get in there. There we go. It shouldn't be this difficult. There we go. <laughs> and with that, our rest is just about done. I'm gonna turn that off before it goes off. Sip water. Get ready for our wide curls. Wide curls seemed a little bit harder for me, so I don't know if you've noticed, I didn't go as heavy as I did the first set with the first exercise. Palms are open and wide, and your elbows are staying in. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep your abs pulled in. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take it over. Head. Let's go for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, 4, 3, I feel it, 2, and 1, bring it down. I'm going to go to my light, light weights. Okay, and then we're gonna do our rear delt flies. <sighs> Abs in, hinge forward, nice long arms. Spread them apart wide. One, two, three. Abs in, long spine. Four, long arms. Five, how far apart can you get them? Six, seven, Eight, nine, you got it. 10, 11, and 12. Nice work. Get that weight put away. Those weights put away. Guys, we made it through the arms part. We're gonna just finish up with a quick little metabolic conditioning circuit, right? These quick little metabolic circuits help us just burn a few extra calories to help us lean out a little bit more. But remember, you can't out-exercise poor diet. If you really wanna shed a little excess body fat, it's all about that energy balance. You have to be smart with your eating choices, okay? So just keep that in mind. We always wanna be smart with our eating choices, but you have to be really strategic when you wanna shed a little extra fat. You have to make sure you maintain that calorie deficit. I'm helping you with these workouts. You gotta be consistent and hold yourself accountable in the kitchen too. Okay, so are you ready? We're gonna do lunge jumps. We're gonna do 20 of them. So start in your lunged position. <laughs> Here we go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, we're gonna do Heisman's, ready? One, two, pause. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Give me a burpee. Let's go. One, two, three, going to 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, two deep breaths. Speed skaters, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Butt kick run right into it. Twenty more. Get down into your plank. Let's run it out. Come on. Thirty. Forty. 50, oh, we made it. Okay, walk around in your spot. Slow down your breathing. Okay. Control your breathing. You got it. You did amazing today. Go ahead. Find your wall, take one arm along the wall, then twist away from it. You're gonna feel that stretch in your chest, shoulder, even down into your biceps. Same thing, other side. Oh my goodness, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so happy, so glad to have done this workout. I'm feeling so accomplished for having completed September, our month for pear-shaped women. Whether you're pear-shaped or not, I know you worked hard and I know you got a lot out of it. Oh, Cause when it comes down to it, we all just need to train hard and show up. As long as you're consistent, you're gonna get results. Okay, go ahead. Expand your chest, pull your arms down, away from you, arch your back, pull your shoulder blades back and your chest forward. Awesome. Shake that out, cross one arm over the other, give yourself big hugs, round your back as you do that. Ooh. Open up, other arm goes on top. Hug yourself tight, tight, tight. Round your back. Bring it up, shake it out, and give me those virtual high fives, everybody. Wow, I am so glad we did this. I know I just said it, but I am. It always feels so good to be at the end. Thank you so much for joining me today, and for all you, dedicated fit friends who stuck with me the entire month. Congratulations, we made it through. Tomorrow, we're gonna be right back. It's gonna be a circus sweat fest. Every Thursday from now on, we're gonna have a circus sweat fest no matter what. So be ready for that. Check in with me on Instagram anytime today, anytime really. 
And until we meet again, no matter where we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye everyone.